Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Would you know it, this week, which is a Saturday, May 2nd, is going to be my birthday. I'm going to be turning 35 years old. What do you know it? <laughs> a grown man like me at 35. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see it coming. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, though, it's going to be my first birthday in quarantine. So I'm going to be celebrating my birthday with my mom, my sister, the two puppies, and a cat. I'm not going to be celebrating my birthday with the entire family like you know, my cousins, my uncle, my grandmother, my aunt, uh, my brother, his wife, his, her sister, my father, and even his girl uh, Mary. However, they will send me some gifts. I think they will send me some gift cards, some money and all. So that way I'll be able to receive them and so I can get some other more gifts that I want. And the best of all though, not only will I receive them, but I'm also going to have some birthday cake, which is an Oreo ice cream cake. I'm going to have round table pizza. Yeah, so pepperoni and sausage with breadsticks salad and all I mean, mm. I mean it's sad that we're not going to go out you know we're not going to see a movie and all it's nothing else playing anyway other than the fact that you have to find it on digital I mean but it's mostly just the same old movies that we just got um, for the past few months yeah it's too bad though because I was really looking forward to the upcoming films this summer. Well, what can we do? Until this whole thing is over, we'll get a chance, as long as we survive. You know, we want to be safe for everyone. You know, we don't want to lose another family member because of this terrible disease. Um, but just for that alone, I, I'm going to finally review a peanut special because it's been a while. I, you know, I just wanted to take a little bit of a break. You know, because it's, it's been hot lately, too. We had, like, a heat wave. I had to put the air conditioner on. and Yes, it, it's safe, by the way. And we also got a new filter. As, as you can tell, I didn't... Uh, well, you probably won't see it much, but, but you can actually hear it buzzing. <sighs> okay. I'm going to finally review the Peanut Special that aired, interesting enough, May 1st, 1991. It's 34th primetime animated special. Yep, aired before my birthday. Just a day after. Snoopy's Reunion. Yes. This is the first special where we got to see Snoopy and his entire family of brothers and sisters and cousins joined together. So not only you have Snoopy right there, but you have um, Spike along with Andy, Marbles, Bell, Olaf, also join in are Molly and Rover. So they're all striking up the band all together. So this is like one happy crowd. <laughs> yeah, and they're all born by their mom, uh, Missy at Daisy Hill Puppy Farm. So, yeah. Now, this is a very uh, deluxe uh, remastered edition that I picked up on DVD back in 2009. So that's like 11 years ago at Target. Um, originally had a slip cover, but the one that I got didn't have it, but that's okay. It's a very nice set. Um, all digitally remastered. Picture quality and sound. All improve a lot better than all the previous home video releases. Yeah, and this was of course before we started getting them all on Blu-rays and 4K Ultra HD. And I hope we get plenty of specials to follow. There are still a few more that they haven't released yet, but I hope they continue because I know they've been having a lot of repeats. 
Also to note that this was nominated for an Emmy. It didn't win, but still, I mean, everyone cherished it. They loved it, and they were surprised that they got to see it for the first time. Yeah, you can see the back where you have Spike with Snoopy and, and Charlie Brown. And it has special features, so it includes the special, it's Flash Beagle Charlie Brown. So you got to see that digitally remastered. I already reviewed it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, after I reviewed Flashdance last year. And it comes with an all new, well, at the time, featurette together again, a, a Peanuts Boys Cast reunion. So that's where uh, the voice actors um, that did the special um, came, joining in with the rest of the other um, voice actors uh, for all the Peanuts specials around at Comic-Con in 2008. So they talk, they relive all the memories that they had, you know, while working with the rest of the crew and joining in with Charles M. Schultz, the creator, Bill Melendez, uh, the director, Lee Middleson, the producer, and all the rest. Yeah, I mean, this is really something. Yeah, that's why I love collecting peanuts, you know, as a true fan. Now, before we get to the entire special, yes, um, I guess you could say this is a retcon, which is retroactive continuity. Yes, it does contain a lot of continuity errors that they chose directly from, you know, Schultz's comic strip, as opposed to the movies and the other special. Yeah, Snoopy Come Home. Where everybody knows that Charlie Brown first got Snoopy as a gift from his family after um, he just went out to play in the park with a bunch of kids who unfortunately were very rude and mean to him. They they dump a bucket of sand over his head, started crying, so his mom took him home to make it up for it. They gave him a gift, which is a dog named Snoopy. And we actually learned that Snoopy was an ordinary dog before he became acting more like a human. You know, becoming more talented than ever before. <laughs> also be friends with Woodstock. And this was actually before um, Sally was born. So Charlie Brown has his sister. And also Linus was born too. Because I know he had his older bossy sister, Lucy. And then we're joining in with the rest of the Peanuts game crowd and all. So it's all fun. And that's how Linus explained to him about that. And Snoopy Come Home. As well as the other special Life is a Circus Charlie Brown, which I've yet to review. I mean, it would work well for Snoopy Come Home though, because it makes sense. We know originally he was a used dog by the original owner, Lila. Not Lila, as I pronounced it in, in the Snoopy Come Home review that I did back in 2015 when I was at that old apartment. <laughs> so forgive me for that. I mean, I'm not perfect. Hey, Charlie Brown isn't perfect either. I mean, that's all we are. Because of the law restrictions uh, at the building they're living in at their own apartment complex because of the landlord, they couldn't allow any pets to stay in, so that's why Lila had to return him. And that was the case before Charlie Brown bought him. So, of course, the rest is history. But despite of the inconsistencies of, of the story here for the continuity, it's still a wonderful special, and it's great to see the entire gang, you know, just striking up the band, just having the best time of their lives, because it'll be the first time they'll ever get to meet, and also to celebrate over there at Daisy Hill Puppy Farm, you know, with Charlie Brown and Sally joining in, even, and hoping for the best. Okay, so let's begin with the review. It stars Phil Sheffron as Charlie Brown. Josh Keaton as Linus Van Pelt, Caitlin Walker 
as Sally Brown, Bill Melendez as Snoopy, and the rest of his siblings joined by, Megan Parlin as Lila, real name is Lillian Emmons Alquelf, uh, Laura Page as Lila's mom, and Steve uh, Solier as the bus driver, and Mr. Alcroft, the farmer, who owns Daisy Hill Puppy Farm. Yep, it's created by Charles M. Schultz, who wrote it, part of his comic strip, and it's directed by Sam Gimes, who's done some several of the other peanut specials, and besides Phil Roman and Bill Melendez. The special begins in this cold winter season, going directly at the Daisy Hill Puppy Farm that's owned by a farmer named Mr. Alcroft, who has a dog named Missy, who happens to be Snoopy and the rest of the siblings' his mother. Yep, she just got all the puppies. Um, they just quickly became adults later on, and they eventually became musicians. So each one had learned how to play an instrument as soon as they'd grown up. And Snoopy plays the guitar, Spike plays the first fiddle, Belle on the second fiddle, Marbles on banjo, Olaf on jug, Molly on mandolin, Rover on a steel guitar, and finally, Annie on a drum set, with cymbals and all. So of course, as the years gone by, Mr. Alcroft had took out the sign that reads, Puppies for Sale. So that means that because for the business alone, they had to sell each and every puppy for every single child around. So the first one being Lila, and she's the one that picks Snoopy, so he's the first one to go, and then soon each and every one of them had left with their owners. Everything was complete, so it's only just Mr. Alcroft and Missy alone. Yeah, but then all of a sudden, because of the law restrictions uh, from the landlord, at the apartment complex, Lila couldn't keep the dog. I mean, even though she loves him very much, had to explain it to him. But rules are rules. You know, no dogs or cats or any other pets allowed. You know, just like the song in Snoopy Come Home by for Ravencroft. No dogs allowed. I know. I hate these restrictions. I mean, every time we have to live at an apartment, no matter which one it is, like it could be nice, we had to deal with that. I don't want that. <laughs> but, hey, we had to do what we can. So, Meanwhile, Charlie Brown had apparently felt depressed because he just lost a baseball game, feeling very empty, um, but he tells his sister, Sally, that he needs someone to welcome him after defeat, and that is, you guessed it, a dog. So, he read an ad uh, finding out that puppies are for sale at the Daisy Hill Puppy Farm, since Lila just returned Snoopy back to uh, Daisy Hill Puppy Farm, hoping that someone will actually find him, uh, Charlie Brown came over, joining in with Linus. Yeah, he brought in a picky bank of five dollars that he saved up. So now um, he finally bought Snoopy. It was hidden underneath the jug, which was, of course, for Olaf. Since he's all alone, I mean, and this was like a cute scene too. I mean, Snoopy was like hiding and then Charlie Brown just came and he just went over nice and slow and I'm like, oh man, that, that's such a cute moment there. So of course, Linus uh, did find out the reports that yes, he did got a used dog, but nevertheless, he's his dog. <laughs> 
So at this point on, he built a doghouse for him, which <laughs> crooked at first, but then he fixed it by kicking it. Um, he set it all up by putting some, um, you know, just uh, some covers and some hay on there to cover. But as usual, he just goes, climb up, and just lay down on his back on the roof. <laughs> And then he was trying to give some commands from Charlie Brown by such as sit and speak, but he just does it <laughs> exactly the way human does. <laughs> and he just sits on an easy chair and then he just speaks on the mic wearing glasses. I mean, that, that's just fun. Unfortunately, Snoopy was feeling very depressed because he realized that he does miss um, his siblings. I mean, already as the years went by, I mean, he's already, you know, becoming a smart, well-intelligent dog, even though, yes, he does go crazy, goes insane, do whatever. They even show, like, uh, archive footages of all the other specials and movies, as we all know. So, at that point on, in order for him to actually cheer him up, Charlie Brown decided to actually um, set up a reunion for him. So, he called up all of and also wrote all of uh, Snoopy's siblings and they all received their letters and they're very excited they even brought in their musical instruments to join so they were on their way with Charlie Brown and Sally to go all the way straight to the Daisy Hill puppy farm but that's where things go completely wrong when they found out that to his discovery because he realized Something just isn't right. I mean, they just took the bus. The bus driver was there saying, Is this the Daisy Hill puppy form? And he says, No, it's Daisy Hill, isn't it? Are you going to get off or what? So at that rate, uh, when they got off, uh, they wound up at a, a five storage uh, parking garage. And the whole band just came together to start playing their instruments. <laughs> I know Andy had trouble trying to get. <laughs> his drums and cymbals out of there from the bus. Even try to put it back in too when he was trying to go on. <laughs> but if that was the case, while they're playing music, just to celebrate, that's where Charlie Brown suddenly went all the way to the pile next to the two uh, parking garages. And he s discovers something that's all there's left was that yes, it turns out that it was the Daisy Hill puppy farm, but they built the entire five-story parking structure all around it. So that's all that's left was just uh, the sign of, that says puppy for sale. So I, I guess after four years, uh, Mr. Allcroft just left along with Missy and they just decided to move on with other businesses. I guess somehow they had to build some new places around. I think they might have added a mall um, either way. Feeling very disappointed though, but at the same time, you know, things were going all right. I mean, they just playing the band, and it wasn't the great greatest reunion they ever had, but at least it was indeed a reunion, and it's probably going to be the best reunion they'll ever have for each other. I mean, that's what Famous is all about. So then Snoopy sent out uh, the rest of his siblings on <laughs> his doghouse, you know, dressing up as a World One flying ace. And <laughs> so he took them all together as fast as he can. But Charlie Brown just found out by saying, how does he do that? Well, Linus just told him, he's your dog, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I thought they did an excellent job. I know it wasn't easy. I mean, having to do an actual special for Snoopy and his siblings to join in, and I know they had to add someone new to the table, not being part of it, but it was nice, and I love to see all of them together. I mean, it's the first time we ever got to. I almost wish we had seen more of the other characters, but I know we have seen them in in some episodes of the Charlie Brown Snoopy show and even that other special so it's always cool 
And yeah, the animation, you can actually find like so animation online of all the rest of the characters. And I found some too. And um, it's, it's, it shows how important it is to actually be with the family, just trying to remember the good times that we had uh, for their memories of the Daisy Hill puppy form before the owners took them. So, perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's great to see Charlie Brown with Sally and, and Linus, and not the rest of the Peanuts game, but it's still. It was very um, heartwarming. Uh, I love the music. It was done by composer Judy Munson. You know, with the banjo and the, the guitar, the drums with the cymbals, um, the jug that they're all playing. I mean, all together, even if they had to be taken one by one <laughs> as puppies, as they're about to grow, grow old. And the music uh, definitely gives it a, a country style feel to it. And it shows. Yeah. I love that. Very special. And it was also nice that we got to see um, Mr. Allcroft, the farmer, and the owner. And I kind of liked the moment too when <laughs> when Charlie Brown was just bringing in the piggy bank of $5. I mean, even though Snoopy does cost a little more. <laughs> yeah, just to be uh, <laughs> generous and all and, and caring. Uh, but hey, you know, he's a kid. <laughs> Gotta go for that. And Missy, Snoopy's and their siblings' his mother, I mean, very cute too. I mean, it shows, you know, how nice and generous people really were. And it's good because, you know, it's nice to have someone that's, you know, very caring. And it was actually nice to see Lila in the special. That's just like in Snoopy Come Home. Yeah. But in the end, um, there were the days. <laughs> we also got to see uh, Snoopy siblings uh, at the end of the Peanuts movie, if, if you saw that. Which I really loved that moment, too. Yeah, well, the Red Baron had to ruin it all. <laughs> but that was part of the, uh, at the end of the movie, uh, if you watched it. Wonderful animation, definitely serves its purpose for Charles M. Schultz, Bill Melendez, and and Sam Gimes joining. So. I really love it. It's um, the best we ever got. So that's uh, Snoopy's Reunion that aired on CBS and of course aired on Nickelodeon and all. But the more important thing is, is we have family on our side. So we get to meet all the cousins, brother, sister, you know, mother, father, daughter, aunts, uncles, <laughs> nieces, nephews, I mean, you name it. <laughs> so that's what's important. And I give the special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and I'm going to have a wonderful birthday. I hope I do. And I'll see you later. Bye.